Okay, and hello there. Please forgive my voice. I've been recovering from the flu once again. Anyway, this is the antenna that I've been transmitting and receiving from recently here for ham radio. This is a Palomar bullet. You can get this thing from Palomar Engineers. And so what I did was I have RG8X coax going into my little ham station in the house. I got these little clamps from Home Depot and I got a piece of uh, thick copper wire and put it between these clamps and mounted the Palomar onto that and let's see if I can show that like that this ground rod is they, they call this a counterpoise I'm not sure why but this ground rod you would think it would be in the ground you know many feet but it's a really long ground rod I can only build it in a few feet because of the uh, obstructions in the ground. I'm not sure if there's a pipe down there, a piece of metal. I don't know. <clears throat> I didn't want to break anything, so I didn't really pound it in very tightly. Anyway, I had this. They gave me 155 foot of wire with this antenna that I ordered, and I ended up not even using the wire. I had a listening antenna installed with this thin bell wire. So I just use the same wire I had up, and this bell wire goes all the way up to a uh, palm tree. So this antenna is too close to my ham station. It's probably 7 to 10 feet from my transmitter. It's not the best way to do this. You want to put this antenna far away from your transmitter, but I can't. I don't have space for that. Anyway, this is a pretty much a useless alley here against the house. So. This antenna, as you can see, is going from the wire. It uh, goes up to the palm tree. It doesn't. It doesn't touch the house that way. You don't want it hitting anything, so it comes very close to the house, but it doesn't. And you can see how I, I put this antenna together like a long time ago for listening only in San Jose, California, and I wrapped it up when I moved here to Las Vegas and just reuse the same wire. It's it's thin enough wire that the neighbors don't seem to notice it. So anyway, and it goes all the way up here. It, it comes very close to the house here, but it doesn't hit the house, luckily. Don't know how the camera picks it up. Anyway, there's the wire. And it does go up to this palm tree here. And that's about it. There's an insulator up there. That's my antenna system, so there it is right there. It's not much of an antenna, but this thing works. I've taught people in Texas. I've taught people in New York. Um, I haven't got any real DX off of it yet, but it does work, so that's my little antenna the trick here. Here's a view of the other side of the antenna here. Just comes down here to this post and it's very, very, very non-visible when you're walking through here. I don't know, it, it, it's sort of a problem that... <coughs> I thought about putting this up on top of the pole, but this already doesn't have any real strength to it. I thought it might work better up there, but... I would need to uh, probably fasten the pole to the wall or something. That that might be an idea. It might work a lot better being a little higher. Well, not a lot better, but somewhat. So anyway, that's my antenna. Again, this is from Palomar Engineers. It's a little balance. I'm not sure if this is like a 9 to 1 or a 4 to 1, but this is classically called an end fed random wire I think. The wire is about 80 feet. So that's about it. It's pretty simple. I wish I could have pound this thing in more. This does work. I think that's good for about 500 watts. PEP. Let's see if you can see the wire kind of going along here. Yeah. 
And I, I was going to run the wire. I was going to have it attached the tree there and run it along to the wall over there. And that might give me about 155 feet. Right now the antenna does not work well on 80 meters at all. It receives but doesn't really transmit in the 80. Um, it, it might work somewhat, but the other problem is that um, all these houses here have intercoms in them. And when I fire up on 80 meters or 40 meters, I come through on all the intercoms, especially on AM. So I can only transmit here really on uh, 20 meters, 15 and 10 because I will blow the neighbors out and blow my house out when I transmit on lower frequencies from RFI. And it, this thing is so close to my ham shack that it uh, gets RF into my transmitter and makes the mic even hot sometimes. So not the best setup. Uh, it does work, but if you put up an antenna, you want to get as far away from your ham station as you can, far away from the house, have the antenna out by itself. If you got property, that's no problem. This, I guess, is sort of a uh, disguise antenna. You can see where it's like a few inches from the house there. As long as it doesn't touch the house, it's good to go. Um, before I had a wire that went from the windowsill up there all the way to the uh, palm tree for receiving. And this this uh, end-fed wire with a ballon from Palomar Engineers works a lot better than what I had before. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.